doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Home Floor. Today, we will be talking about using a laser for conduit bending. Quite simply, let me just set up the scene. All right, most of you guys, from what I've noticed out in the field and the questions that you guys have asked me, because this has been a very requested, must requested video, okay? And um, from what I see, I, th the main point is that you guys are not actually lining up your laser or getting it square, so to say. You know what I mean? It looks like you guys are just pretty much, you know, plopping down your laser and pretty much thinking that the uh, laser is going to do the work for you. It pretty much is, okay, in a sense, but you still have to, you know, adjust it and get it square, okay? It's not going to just do that for you, all right? Now, depending on the situation and what it is that you're trying to line up or, or, or make straight, if you're trying to do a straight run of conduit and whatnot and you haven't started just yet and you're trying to get it straight, first you want to actually get your laser straight, okay? And the way that you're going to do that is, is you're going to need a reference, you know, a reference point. Something in your room or the area that you're in that's actually you know, you know it's going to be a straight and has already been squared up, okay? Now, for the sake of the video, we're going to just say that this piece of wood is a wall, okay, in your environment, in the area that you are, that you know is already straight. Walls, by all means, should be straight already. I mean, at least if the carpenter knows what he's doing, it should be straight. Or this could be a beam in the ceiling. Whatever your situation is, you could be running conduit in the ceiling or you could be running it on the wall or whatever the case may be. Okay, so for argument's sake and for the sake of the video, let's just say that this is your reference, okay, that you're going to take to make sure that your conduits are straight. That's in the room. You're running your conduit down straight through the room, okay, in this direction, in that direction, and this is the wall that's lined up with your run, okay? So that's quite simple. You know the wall is straight, so you wanna get your laser straight now so that you can, con so you can start running your conduit, okay? You don't just plop down your laser wherever you feel like throwing your conduit and say, okay, that's fine, because you could be crooked a little bit. Let's just say you're like this, but you can't really see it, you know? because it's off by a quarter inch or a half inch, and by the time you get to the other side of the room, you're off by almost, you know, a foot or whatnot, okay? So that's why it's so important to actually square up your laser, okay? It's not gonna do it for you, all right? So what you wanna do is, you wanna first, you know, pretty much see where it is that you want your laser. If there's a certain point in the ceiling where you want your actual conduit to run or wherever the point is, you could actually take a measurement off the wall, okay, and you know that you want your actual conduit, let's just say at six inches, okay, from the wall, okay, that's where you want your first conduit to be at, from the center of the conduit, okay? Let's just say that you want it at six inches, all right? No problem. Now, what you have to do is you put a little mark on the floor. Okay, I'm not going to do that here on my table, okay? But you'll put a little mark on the floor, all right, at six inches, right? And then you'll come along the farthest that you possibly could on the... I'm just going to move this out, out the way for a little bit. And you'll come along at the other end and you'll mark it at six inches as well, okay? All right, and then you have your two points. If possible, and if it's a really large room, you might want to get a third mark so that you could line up your laser. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your laser marks and make sure that it lines up with your two or three marks as best as possible. Okay, as best as possible. This way you know your laser now is as square, you know, and as straight and lined up with your wall as possible. Okay? 
For argument's sake, I'm just gonna actually put this piece of wood here. And I have two marks, okay? Let me zoom back out. I have two marks here. They're not that big, you know, but I hope you can see them. One here, sorry about that. And one right about here, okay? Let me show you a little bit of it. You see those two marks? Well, that's where they are. Okay, so for argument's sake, this is my wall area, okay? And I just needed something to write on so I could actually make it a little clearer. And basically, it's quite simple. I just wanted to show you that that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna, you know, measure off the wall wherever it is that you want your actual conduit, okay? Or, and then from there, you're gonna line up your laser with these two marks, or maybe three, depending on how many you wanna make. It, it might be pretty far, you know, your actual, you know, the wall or the distance that you wanna actually cover. Now, the best way to do it is, let's just say that this whole square is the whole room, okay? And you're gonna run your conduit from this point of the room to the other point of the room, and you wanna get it parallel to the wall. The best way to do it is to actually get your, when you make your marks, get them from one side of the room to the other side of the room. That would make your, your, your actual mark and your conduit, you know, more precise and the most parallel to your actual reference point as possible. But if you're in a rush or you don't, you don't, you can't, you don't have the space to, to, to do all of that, you know, you have stuff in your way and you can't shoot your laser for whatever the case may be, you can make it shorter, you know, but just try to get these two marks as far apart as possible so that you can get them parallel as much as possible to your reference point or your wall or your beam or whatever it is that you're using for a straight line, okay? The second thing is that you could also be bringing this line. It might not be where you want your conduit. This just might be a, a, a line that you're creating to bring, you know, you're probably creating another reference line closer to the point to where you want to get it, you know, because this... For, you know, out in the field all the times, you're not going to have a reference point to get parallel lines, you know, immediately adjacent to where you're working. It's not like that all the time. You might get lucky, you might not, you know. Find something that, you know, you can find that's actually straight and parallel to where you want to run your conduits. It can be a, a, a beam, columns, whatever it is, a wall, anything that you know is straight you know, that you could actually use as a reference point and use it, you know, take your measurements off there, make your laser straight off of that, all right? So that's the most important thing, and that's how you actually line up your laser. Let's just say for, you know, the sake of the video that this actual conduit is up in the ceiling, all right? And it's very high up in the ceiling. It's not easy to take measurements from because there's nothing around to take a measurement from to, let's just say you want to do an offset, okay? And you want to get your offset to, uh, let's just say you wanted to get your offset, I mean, your offset, uh, let's just say seven inches to the right. And, or even more, let's just say it's, it's somewhere up in the, in the ceiling where it's not easy to actually get an actual measurement from, okay? But you know where you want your, offset to end up, okay? Let's just say you want your offset to end up in, in this box that I've just actually laid out for you, okay? You want it in this box and these are both in the ceiling, okay? So that's really quite simple. All right, the first thing you would do is actually get your center of your conduit, okay, which you can't really see, but let's just say, I'm going to use the side of the board for the center because you can't, you can't really see it, you know, so let's just say you have your center and, and you actually mark it, okay, you mark it on the floor. Okay, and we're going to say this is center of conduit. 
okay? Center of conduit. And I'm just gonna zoom that in a little bit. That's my center of my conduit. And this is in the ceiling. So now I have this written down on the floor, right? My pipe is in the ceiling. I have my mark written down on the floor. The center of my pipe is written down on the floor. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to find out how much of an offset I need. So that's really how you use this laser. Now we're going to easily do that by actually moving, okay, my actual laser over to where I want to get this offset. Okay, now remembering that I'm not going to actually... Uh, do it to the side of the hole, I'm taking it to the, to the center of the hole. Now you can do this however you like. You can actually, when you're doing an offset, you know how you do it from the bottom to the bottom. Well, in this case, I'm doing it to the center because I started off with the center, okay? So as you see here, I have my box. Let me move it over a little bit. I have my box. I'm getting it to the center of the box, but now the second thing I have to do is make sure that I'm straight, right? My laser has to be square and parallel. So we're gonna do the same thing, okay, that I did before, and we're gonna find a square, uh, you know, a straight reference, okay? And I have my old reference points that we had here, and we'll just make sure that we're straight, okay? So over here I have 10 inches, Right, and I want to make sure that I have 10 inches on the, on the top mark as well, okay? And I don't, I have to move it out a little bit. And now we're gonna go back, okay, to the bottom mark and see if we have the same thing and we do, all right? But now I'm not centered to the actual hole, as you can see, all right? But as you start playing it with it a little bit, you'll get it, you know? If you want, you could actually measure how much you have left, you know, to get to the center, which is about a half an inch. But if you're down on the floor and that box is up in the ceiling, it's not gonna be that easy. So you might have to measure back and forth a little bit, okay, until you actually get it square enough, all right? Or sometimes it's really not that serious. If it's just, you know, a fraction of an inch and whatnot, then you should be all right. Okay, and you just want to keep measuring it until you get equal distances on both of your mark and you're at the mark that you want to hit. Okay, and right here I'm satisfied. I got about 10 and a quarter and about, same thing, 10 and a quarter. All right, so I'm satisfied. I'm in the center. And now I have, all I have to do now, with all of this being in the ceiling, all I have to do now is just take my measurement to see how much of an offset I need. From where the laser is now, to where my mark is, okay? And it looks like it's about nine and a quarter of an inch offset that I need. Now that's another thing that I wanna show you that I wanna actually give you a tip on is when you're actually using the laser to take a measurement, I usually either start on the number two, okay? On the number, let me just zoom this up. I usually start up on the number two Okay, somewhere where I can see it clearly. Or I started on the number one. All right, on the one inch mark. All right, and then I'll either deduct that from my, from my measurement because it's not going to be accurate or that accurate or it's kind of hard sometimes to hold it at the edge of your actual tape measure. So it's better just to start at one and either add or subtract that to, from your measurement. All right? And, I, and that's the best way to actually do that. So that's taking measurements from the floor for the ceiling, for your ceiling runs, okay? If it's, now usually we, I do that with small conduit too, but usually that's stuff that you do with larger conduits and whatnot, or when you actually have no reference at all up in the ceiling to get a measurement, you know? And so I, I, what I'll do is I'll just write the, you know, I'll, I'll mark the, the marks on the floor like how we just did and, and we'll measure it that way, okay? All you're really doing is simulating the offset on the floor, okay? You're simulating, you're putting the conduit, you're transferring the conduit that's in the ceiling, okay, to the floor, right? And you're also bringing your target to the floor and you're just taking the measurement that way, all right? 
Now that's the best, you know, method when you actually have no reference point up in the ceiling to actually get it from, all right? Or where your targets are too far apart. That, I believe, is the best way to get it. I'm not gonna lie, most of this might seem like it might take too long or whatever, you know, to set up, but it's the most precise way to actually get your measurements, okay? And if you're out on the field and you just take your time, all right, and you go through the steps and you learn these steps, after a while, this just gets, you know, it gets repetitive and you get that much better and quicker, okay? As long as you learn how to stick with the steps, you know, one step at a time and you don't skip them and you continue doing these, after a while you just get better and you get more precise and everybody wants to be quick, you know, and still have quality work. Well, that's the way that you do it, okay? Is you go through the steps, all right, one at a time and you just keep working those steps and after a while you get better and better and better, okay? Now, those are the actual, let me reposition this, those are the hardest, this is the hardest part of the laser, okay, is working with the laser vertically. Now, when you switch this, okay, to a, let me show you, now, when you switch it, okay, to a horizontal line, all right, it's usually for vertical measurements, okay? It's usually for measurements that you're gonna be taking vertically, all right? Elevation, all right? You're trying to find elevations, heights of certain things, or you're trying to find the, the measurement of, of a certain conduit, the height of it or whatever, or you're trying to do a 90 degree bend, or whatever the case may be, okay? Now, these are a lot, these are a lot easier. You don't have to do anything at all, but just place the laser where you want it, okay? And that's simply it, all right? Now, sometimes you can't just line, you can't just place the laser wherever you want it because either you don't have some way to put it or it's just not possible or uh, there's something blocking you or, or whatever the case may be. That's when you have one of these. Now, all lasers come with one of these things, okay? Uh, just happens to be that Milwaukee came with this one, but you have other lasers that will have these that kind of help you, you know, um, find the measurement or find the spot of the laser, you know, it'll tell you how many inches you are away from, you know, whatever target that you're at. Okay, so now let's just say that I actually, uh, you know, I actually stick this onto a, you know, a Kindorf, okay? And um, let me just step this up a little bit higher. Let's just say that I actually put this on a Kindorf, okay? And my Kindorf is right about here, okay? Because it's, it's sticking onto it with the magnet, okay? And my laser is right where it says. It says it's at two inches, okay? Two inches to the bottom of the Kindle. So now I know that depending on what size Kindle I'm using, if I'm using a 7 8 Kindle, okay, and this is a two inch mark, then I know that I'm two and 7 8 away from the top of that rack. So that if I need to make an offset or whatever, okay? So we're, we're actually saying that this laser mark right here is my actual conduit and where it is right now. Let's just say for the sake of the video that my conduit is, the bottom of my conduit is where this laser is, okay? So my offset would end up being two and seven eighths because this is where my conduit, my, uh, my rack is. My rack is a seven eighths rack, okay, which will bring me up to like seven eighths. So it would end up being two and seven eighths of an offset for me to get on top of this rack. Now that's just like, you know, an example that I'm actually showing you, okay? Uh, it was just an example that's one of many of how you actually use this, okay? There's many ways to use this that are very handy, okay? You could also use this vertically, okay? So that for, with the vertical line, so that you can put this 
all the way down the end of the room, okay? And you'll be able to tell. Actually, you know what? Let me show you. Okay, so this is another way that you could actually just lay out your actual laser, okay? And I know that when I'm far down the room, all I have to do is just set that up, the little stand up, okay, the marker. I can set this up to the end of the room, all right? And then I know that I'm actually there, you know? And all I gotta do is come up to my actual marker and mark it right there at the center of that little pyramid point. And I know that's where my laser is, okay? And that's just how you could actually use that. that this thing here is actually useful. It's, most of the people don't use it. They just throw it into their, into their gang box and never, you know, never seem to use it. But it's actually useful and it's a good tool to have when you're using your laser, okay? Now, this is just the first video to probably I'm gonna actually make another one. Um, well, most definitely I'm gonna come out with another one with a lot of other information on how to actually, what I wanna do is actually do more videos on how to actually use this laser for specific bends, okay? How do you use it to take measurements like we just spoke about, you know, and how to use it to take measurements for conduit bending. Now, I already have two videos out that I started off already with using the laser, but I'm gonna get more, you know, elaborate and actually get deeper into the subject on how to actually use the, les the laser to take these measurements, okay? Um, I do realize that a lot of apprentices starting out don't really know how to actually use the laser to take measurements or they're not being taught how to actually even take measurements for these bends. They just wanna, you know, run out there and start bending, okay? Uh, this is not the best way to learn. The best way to learn is to actually learn how to start taking your measurements, learn the actual formulas, learn the calculations, you know, um, in that order. Learn the calculations, learn the formulas, okay? Uh, then learn how to actually start taking these measurements. Watch your mechanics, your journeyman taking measurements, ask questions, okay? And, um, and then move on from there. After you actually learn how to take measurements and all that, what you should actually have, your, what your actual mechanic or your journeyman should do is have you switch places and have you as an apprentice or someone just starting out, have you taken the measurements, okay? And have the journeyman or mechanic bending the conduit. Okay, and then after a few while, after a while, when your journeyman or mechanic feels confident that you're actually taking the measurements correctly, then you can actually start bending. Okay, because the bending part is easy, and you'll learn that quickly. But if you don't learn bending the right way, then it's going to take you a lot longer to learn. Okay, the right way is the way that I told you. Because if you start backwards and you start bending right away, it's just going to take you that much longer to learn. Because you're not going to want to learn the formulas, you're not gonna wanna learn how to, how to actually do the calculations, you're not gonna wanna learn how to take the measurements the right way, and it's just gonna take you that much longer. So if you do it in the steps that I told you, which is learn the formulas, number one, learn the calculations, okay, learn how to actually work out the problems, okay, that's number two. Okay, number three, learn how to take the measurements on your own, okay, Learn how to take the measurements on your own. I would put that together with number four. Uh, I say that's number three, you know. Number four is learn how to actually, you know, lay out your run, okay? Have your, 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 your helper, you know, um, or have your mechanic let you, you know, figure out the route yourself, okay? And after all those four steps, then I would say you're ready to start bending. Okay, because that's the easy part. But if you get those four down packed, I'm going to repeat it again, okay? You're going to actually learn the formulas, okay? You're going to learn how to actually calculate the formulas, work the problems out, okay? 
you're going to, number three, you're going to take the measurements on your own, okay? And if you're doing them wrong, your form, I mean, your uh, mechanic or journeyman will let you know and you'll get better this way, okay? That's number three. Number four, let your foreman, you know, tell your foreman that you want to start, you know, picking out your own routes, laying out the route, okay? This way he can tell you and show you, no, this way is not good. This way is a better route, you know? This way you start to learn and think like a journeyman. Those are the four most important, you know, points on how to actually learn how to bend conduit. And lastly, then you'll start bending conduit, all right? So um, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, if you have any comments or anything else you want to add to this video, please add it to the comments below. If you feel I missed anything, please add it to the comments. I'll add it to the next video coming up. Uh, with that, follow me on LinkedIn. I have my uh, account on there as well. If you want to support the channel, guys, just reach out to me. Also, you know, hit me up on, on Discord. If you want the link, just, you know, uh, leave the comments below. Thank you guys for, you know, all the support that you guys have been giving me. Again, you know, drop me any comments for any requests that you have. With that, my name is Mel.